Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and in this episode we'll be revisiting the animation jump bug. Now originally we have um, solved this problem and I'll show you the, the original demo that we, we used. However, I've come across um, a, a version of the problem that, that isn't solved using this technique. So just to kind of remind you, this is the first version that we fixed. When you clicked on the link, it would animate down. And because of the padding on this uh, this div, if I can just select it, you see the padding there. Because of the padding on the div, it would make it jump. So we move the padding to the inside, uh, to the element within the thing that's animating. And the, uh, the animation will work fine. However, here's my new one. Click on Reveal. And we get that jump, which looks awful. Now let me show you the code that goes with this. This is the click, so when the document's ready, we attach a click handler that says slide toggle, return false. And when the document's ready, we're also hiding the element that we want to slide out in the first place. Now if we didn't do that, I believe... Yeah, there's a little bit of jumping there anyway. No. Okay, so even if we didn't do it, it's still a problem. And it's quite. Uh, it'll be quite a common kind of situation to have where you've got a block of content that you want to hide and reveal using JavaScript. So I'm going to show you a workaround for this. Um, there is uh, uh, the reason it's um, the reason it it jumps is because when it tries to calculate the height of the hidden div it gets it wrong. Um, so let me just quickly show you it. So this is our hidden div test. So it says, it, it says that it's 118. If I reveal it, it's actually 272. The reason it's calculating it as 118 is because we haven't got a set width on the element. It's inheriting its width from this outer div, which is 400 pixels wide. When it tries to work out the width when the element is hidden, what it does is position absolute, and um, it does visibility none, which is why you can't see it. But if we look at the height now, we see it's 118. That's why it gets the wrong height. So there's two workarounds for this. One of them is to put the width on the actual element. So if we give that a test, I believe this doesn't truly fix it, but we can see it. So it's better because it doesn't jump as much, but it's still wrong. So if we hide it and look at the uh, look at the height in Firebug, 218, 272. Now the reason the height is wrong in this situation is because when this was set to position uh, absolute, What happens is the margin on this p tag is uh, is being included in the height. <coughs> Excuse me, and you can see it's two eight eight. It's because this margin down here. So you can see the yellow line um, just above where my, uh, the console is. When it doesn't have position absolute, the margin collapses. So the way to work around this is we don't need the height anymore, uh, sorry the width. What we have to do is grab the height of the div before it's hidden and then we'll, we'll animate back and forth between those heights. So let's make this the very first thing we do so there's no kind of delay. Since we're using test quite a bit, I'm just going to store it. So 
So when we click the link, what I want to do is say, if the div is visible, um, if div is visible, then we'll do one thing, and otherwise we'll do another. So if it's visible, div dot animate. I'm going to animate the height to zero. Duration. Two and a half seconds. And when it completes, we need to hide the div once it's done. Um, I'll leave this out for the minute just to show you the effect. If the div is currently hidden, we're going to animate the height to this variable. Okay, so the first time I clicked that, it didn't work at all. And the second time I clicked it, it didn't work at all either. Have I done the right thing? If visible, height to nothing. Okay. <clears throat> it's because we need to hide it afterwards. And because it's hidden, when we start to animate again, we have to show it. But bear in mind, the height will be zero at this point. Okay, so it works after the first click. So the reason why it doesn't work the first time round is because it tries to animate the height um, to this value, but it already is that value. So what we do is we give it an inline style and set the height to zero, which means that when, if we look at the DOM, we can see height equals zero click on reveal, that will slide down smoothly. So let me just refresh that. So that's the way to get it to toggle smoothly back and forth between its original height and and zero. Assuming that the inner, um, this is based on the, the fact that this inner content doesn't change height. Um, if that is changing, then you need to kind of reread it. I think we looked at that in um, uh, an earlier episode. I think it's um, Van Damme's, uh, the, the, the site that he did. I think we looked at doing that. Um, but this is the way to get it to avoid jumping when um, it animates. So hopefully that was of use. Uh, hopefully we won't get too many more of the um, animation jumps. And if you have any comments or questions, please drop by Joe Group for Designers and, and leave your comment there. Thanks a lot.